Welcome to this video on isotopes. What we're going to be focusing on here is why all elements on the periodic table don't have whole numbers for their mass number. So we've already established that an isotope is something that has the same number of protons and different number of neutrons. What we aren't sure about is why on the periodic table some elements don't have whole numbers and that's all down to isotopes. Now to explain that, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at chlorine-35 and chlorine-37, which are two isotopes of chlorine, which as you can see here have the same number of protons and different number of neutrons. Now you'll recall that the mass number is made up of the protons and neutrons from a previous video, um, so we've got 37 and 35 for our two different isotopes. So the question is, where do we get our 35.5 from? The answer is all to do with the abundance, the percentage of each isotope that is naturally occurring, which in this case is 75% of chlorine-35 and 25% of chlorine-37, which just so gives you an average mass of 35.5 for chlorine. This all comes together then to give you a definition for what relative atomic mass is, and that is the average mass of all the isotopes of a single element. Right, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So this one is bringing in some previous knowledge as well. And it says copper has a mass number of 63.5 and an atomic number of 29. Part A, work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for copper. And part B, explain why the number of neutrons that you calculated can't actually exist and how the existence of isotopes helps to explain it. So think back to what we did in the video to answer part B. Why is it not 63.5 and therefore why are the neutrons not what you calculated them to be in part A? Pause the video and have a go at this question now. Okay, so let's have a look at part A first of all. This should just be basic recap for you. We have an atomic number of 29. So that tells me I have 29 protons and 29 electrons. Then to get the neutrons, we take 63.5 and take 29 away from it, which gives us 34.5. It's only worth two marks, so you needed to get all three of them correct for the two marks. If you got two correct, you got one mark. If you only got one correct, you didn't get any marks at all. Part B then, explain why the number of neutrons you calculated can't actually exist. So why can you not have 34.5 neutrons? Think back to the charge and the mass of a neutron neutral and a mass of one. So one mark is for saying the mass of a neutron is one. The second mark is for therefore turning around and talking about isotopes. And what I was looking for is the 63.5 is the average mass of all the isotopes of copper. You could also say the 34.5 is the average number of neutrons. And that's how you got five marks there. Okay. If you're feeling confident, have a go at the review question, which is describe what an isotope is and explain why the mass number for chlorine is 35.5, not a whole number. Again, that should be relatively straightforward now. That's the end of this video.